Jamila and welcome to BAR, the essential workout designed to shed the pounds and shape your muscles. This is ballet and we're going to be doing a lot of classical mixed in with cardio, strength training, resistance, ballet motion on the floor and standing. So we're going to do the first 25 minutes on the ground and the rest on our feet, working power and all kinds of stuff that's going to give you everything that you desire in a ballet body. What you would need is a two pounder, a ballet bar, and a 10 or eight pounder for later. What I would suggest is to have a water, a towel, and at any point you need to take a break, please feel free to and join in when you can. That's most important to remember. All right, so let's get started. On the floor, with your legs wider than your hips, and we're gonna start with belly scoops. Now you wanna take out the arch in your back by way of your first six abdominals because we have eight. So right under the breastplate is your first two. Let's go ahead and press down those other six. And it's a little hip rock here. And just rest your head, gazing upward. And the pressure is combined with a little tilt and a compression. So you really wanna base that power down. Beautiful, butt stays on the floor. Excellent, let me one more A count, eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, and two. Excellent. Now holding here, grab a two pounder, a pair. Now we're going to start our sit-ups. You're going to open your fingertips with your thumb latched between. All you're going to do is contract and lift. Now make sure your head is closer to the floor. So this is not what you want to do, rocking the neck. Now my first sit, six six bones are deep into the ground and my first two are elevating and descending my body. Good. Really crunch and cave that core down deeply. Push and lift. Give me a double time here. Up, up, up. So I'm gonna rock my head back just a bit, not protruding my face, but really give me a surge of energy through that contraction. No rounding, no space in between six and seven and eight. So bring the feet together, half time. Three, four, five. This is gonna put more demand in your muscles. Four and three and two. Excellent, double time. One, two eight counts. And three, four, five, six, seven. One more, pushing through. Exhale as you push in, four and three and two. Beautiful, take the two pounders right to your sides. You're gonna take the feet back out in second. We're gonna do a quick releve, lift. Now I'm gonna open my back here just to just allow my abdominals to rest. Lift, lift, both of the feet deep in the carpet or wherever you are. Bring it in parallel, two, three, and always a calm breath. Ballerinas have such a beautiful strength to them. Four and three and two and one. Good, back to out. Now let's go up on releve, push into a pelvic tilt, add the two pounder, and you're gonna rest it right into your hip flexor. Going down in a releve, lift up, up and down. Heel down, heel up, push and down. Going down, lift, push, down. If you need to just drag your feet under you, making sure you're planted foot under the knee. Make all the adjustments you need. Four and three and two and one. Holding here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's get those lower calf muscles, heels down and up, down. You want to really exacerbate that heel as you lift. I want you to not wear and tear, but wear and care on your body. Three, four, five, six. Last time, holding here. Push, 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 push. Excellent. Now bring your feet together. Push and lift. Push and lift. Push and lift. Now the calf muscles are going to burn, so if you need to, flex the feet, relax and then join back with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now let's go for that lift in the releve. 
with the pelvic tilt and starting to go below. Down, lift, pull up, back down. Down, lift, pull up, stretch down. This is gonna be one of the bases of ballet, your core, your feet, and everything around it as we build. Down, lift, pull up last time. Four, three, hold. Now I really want you to take those feet, draw deeply, and rest, good work. Let's take some more core work, taking the legs wide again, taking it out. We're gonna take what's called around the world. Now around the world is to accentuate your fullness of your core. So you're gonna lift up and down, lift up and down, pull. Really holding that pressure through that belly, pull up, lift down. And you never want to drop down that resistance. Keep it deeply in. Four, and three, and two. Excellent, other side, lift up, accent up. You can flex the feet just to relax the calf work we just did. Good. The principle is to keep the resistance and the workload in the muscles that you're working. Never anywhere else. Good. Four and three and two. Now, dropping it down to the sides. Let's go to the legs. We're gonna work those hip flexors. Taking an attitude, we wanna touch it down and up. Now let's take an around the world here. We're gonna go around, half circle. Keeping that knee nice and turned out. That hip flexor is clicked out to that left side. Four and three and two. And let's go down and up, down and up, down and up. Good, now four and three and two. Excellent, other side, we're going across and around. Across and around. It's like a bow, you really wanna take it deeply across that left knee. And three, and two. Good, now we're gonna take a parallel passe, lift, flex, down. Parallel passe, lift up, flex, down. Parallel passe, lift up, flex. Good, now straight leg lift, pull, down. Now a little slower here, so you want to combine a full stretch for your quad, full flex in the leg. It's four, three, and two. Now grab your two pounders here. We're going to crunch to the leg, lift, and lift. Now you don't want your hands to go past the leg. You really want all of the absorbency of the weights and your leg right in that core. Push, good, you're almost done. Two. Three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Good rest down. Let's take that leg. We're gonna take the attitude. Left side, inner leg, in, up. Now calming the breath. And I'm padlocking my core deep into the floor. I can get a little bit deeper, nice and nudged. Beautiful. And seven, and six. Good, positive energy throughout the whole body. And three, and two. Good, let's do on the door. Out and away from the body. Good, nice opening for those hips. I always say it's like you can balance a little coffee cup on your knee as you come down. Good, four, and three, two. Beautiful. Let's take it down and up again. So when we do tendus or grand bat maws, this area must be strong enough to secure the base of the legs. Beautiful. Give me four and three and two. Excellent. Let's take it across the knee this time. Good. Keeping the arms nice and flat. like you're making a 
backwards, capital D. Out to that half circle, straight down. Lift, four, three, and two. Good, now let's do a parallel passing. Lift, flex, stretch down. Parallel passing, lift, flex, good. Finish off that extension. Excellent, four more. Good, three, and two. And one, let's go straight leg lift. Up and down, hard flex, push, good. Your right foot is really stretched down into the ground. Give me two more now. We're gonna add those arms in, crunch, lift. Eight, two counts of eight here. You're almost done. The more you progress, the day in between, the body really gets a chance to power up and rest. You're going to feel really good after this one. Four more here, everyone. Four. Good. And three. Smile through it. You could do it. Two. And one. Excellent. Put your weights to the sides. Let's take the feet in. And give me some leg circles here. Always good to rest in between, the other side. Excellent. Let's take her down. Back to some pelvic tilts. This is gonna be a good firing. So we're gonna take a four, three, two, one. Take it down, three and two. And pull up, two, three, four. Press it down, press it down, press it down. Good, one more, one, two, three, Getting a little higher, cranking it up. Now singles right here. Go for four and three and two and one. Beautiful. Give me four and three. Last set and four and three. Good. Clicking it in that four pace. Your highest range of flexion. Now three, two, one. Last set. Single count it. Here we are. Four and three and two and hold now my feet are going out in out in knees and that push push now this is going to really fire up those outer thighs we're going to need those for the duration of the workout and inward now the goal is to be very buoyancy you're not going to crash or touch them eight seven six five four three two and one now this time we're going to touch in parallel touch out touch in touch out touch in touch out touch in keeping the booty at that same level try to get your shins feet and knees to touch and i'm breathless but i'm controlling my breath breathing from my diaphragm three two and rest excellent everyone let's take your weights to your sides so we're going to do a crank lift, press down. I really want to warm up the arms on the ground today. So it's almost like I'm drawing an airplane into place here. Push, stretch down, lift, push, down, stretch down. Four, three, two, beautiful. Take your right leg up in the air. And we're going to take a point flex. As I flex, I'm going to draw my fingers to me. Flex. Point. Keeping my knee nice and extended. Beautiful. Now take a flex hold. And I'm going to draw the arms up. Opening up the shoulder blades. So if I'm looking straight in the ceiling, I can actually see my palms or my fingers in my peripheral. You don't want to touch the ground. Keep those shoulders nice and based. Beautiful, other side, and flex, point, flex, point. It's like so beautiful out here to be one with nature, and that's really what we want you to feel. One with your body, just get lost with us now. Lift and up, lift and up. Good, full flexion through the knee and ankle. Four and three. And two. And last time. Now I'll take the feet. 
And we're gonna do a little scissor stretch. Hold, 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 hold. Now, once again, I'm using all of my lower abdominals to lower that base leg. Not really pulling my leg, you really want that upper leg to stretch and not tear. Four, three, two, rest and hold. Take your left arm overhead. Power push through that left knee. Other side, pull. It's like that overhead fifth. And release, beautiful knees in. All right, let's come on up. Let's get those 10 pounders. We're gonna work a push-up plank with a leg lift. Now you wanna make sure your feet are engaged into whatever uh, support you have, whether it's a wooden floor. Just make sure you're grounded. In this position, we're gonna use the arms, stretch the triceps as much as you can. Now, this is my bank, my place, plank base. So you're gonna pull up in your booty and back down. Charge the butt up, press back down. Now we don't like to say locked in fitness, but I want you to feel like your tricep muscles are taking you away from your joints, so you don't want to soften as you come down. And breath. And as you exhale, press the core engaged. Now the leg looks like this. You're gonna start from this base, going up, right foot behind the left. Both legs are straight, squeeze your tushy, and up, stretch, pull up, beautiful, give me four, three, two, and one, excellent, other side, down, and up, this is an amazing stretch for the shoulder blades, working under the bra if you've had a baby, or been working out and you've lost a lot of weight, tone up those sides of the bra. Let's add that leg here. Push, down. Lots of strength in your supporting leg as well as your working. Push down. Really get low. Four, three, good. Pendulum swing. Squeeze that tushy. One, back down. Take your booty to your heels and stretch. No, you felt that. Let's go and sit on our booty, everyone. We're gonna take our legs in second position. With your arms out, we're gonna take a nice little stretch in the waist. And you wanna take your tape through the core, press the fingers over your toes, and four, and three. Now give me your right arm, swing it out, lengthen back, swing it out, lengthen back, swing it out. Good, other side. Swing it out as you lengthen, keep that body straight up. Four, three, and two. Good, holding here. Knees, flex and extend. Now I want you to contract with it. Letting the body be fluid together. Four, three, and two. And bring the legs in and stretch. Now I'm gonna move my weights, make sure you have plenty of space. Now this time, Take one leg behind you. We're gonna work some more hips with some twos. Now, through here, we're gonna point and flex the foot, and you're gonna draw the hips, and it's in an order of appearance. So you're gonna go hip, toe, arm up, toe, hip, lower down with the arm. Hip, toe, arm up, back down. This is a beautiful ballet, modern movement. Up and stretch. Stretch. Now the back arm comes with it. Lift. Three, two. Your upper body is all the way up. Let's go. Up double time. Push, push, push. Four, three, two, and one. Now perch forward. And I'm pointing my front leg. Give me a black fly here. Going up, down. And hold, other side. Remarkable, everyone. Get into position. 
that nudge of that hip flexors on the floor. Lift, arm, four, three, two. Let that bottom arm rest down. We're gonna add it in now. Seven and eight. Draw it up, pull it back, pull. Spotting is also number one technique that we learn in dance. So you wanna learn how to do that. Here we go. And double time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, push forward, hold. Bow those elbows nice and bent. Give me four times, lift, back fly. Lift, lower, lift. Two, and one. And take the weights down, stretching forward. All right, everyone. Cross one knee over. And other side. Always a one eight count, rest in between. All right, onto our knees. Really quick knee lifts. In this space, we're gonna have the two pounders on standby. And we're gonna take the knee up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Give me a roundabout, four, three, two, and one. One more time, lifting up, down. So I'm drawing, caving my core around for four, and three, and two. Good, now we're going the other way this time. Three, drawing up to parallel. Now knee to the chest, going four, and three, working those hips, better range. Up, through all our mus muscles and our tendus, you feel the difference, going four, and three, two, and another way. Lift. Back and around, knee to your shoulder. Spine is lengthening, so you don't want to start swinging or acting like an accordion. You want everything nice and long and strong. Two. And let's go again. Parallel. Now other direction. Drive it core in and engage around. In and engage around. You got it. Others. Let's go up. Up. Breathe. Contract and around. Three. Two. And one. Come on down. Push. And take a little flex of the feet. Let's take that booty and perch it up. Draw that left knee in. Stretch back. Other side. Stretch up and back. All right, everybody, meet me on the floor. Hi, I'm Camila, and welcome back. For the duration of the workout, we're gonna be on our feet. You may use a bar or a chair or anything that has support. Let's begin. With our feet together, our knees are straight. With our bum tight, our core engaged, and our shoulders pressed down, we're gonna work our neck down and up. Just a little bit past your eye range. Good, taking it ear to ear. Two. And seven good plies down and two and three and four five and six and seven and eight and hold heel up heel up five and six back to straighten and there going back to head two and three four five six seven ear to ear again stretch the shoulders down brace the lats and five six give me baby plies going down and stretch stretch five and six good heels lift down up straighten and pull up and straighten good now one foot at a time now this is an easy gallop through the feet and as you press your heel down you want to squeeze your quad pull up five six seven and eight again babies two three four five six full lift heels down Lift, stretch the knee, down, plie, good. Now we're gonna go other way this time, lift and releve, going down in a full press, lift, releve, down, heels down, up. Excellent, last time, releve and hold. 
Excellent. We're going to take the heel up and down, going lift and lower. Lift 16 sets. So I'm working my arms, engaging my biceps. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Let the heels fall. Not a drastic crash, but a nice touch. Seven. And great job. Down and lift. Down and lift. Now give me a little bit more power in those feet. Relevance. Pull up. Heels down. Let's repeat. Down. Up. Way to rhythm back of the heels. And down. Lift. Up. Down. Down. Lift. Now let's go the other direction. Releve. Down. Heels up. Through those quads. And four. Three. And two. And last time hold for releve. 16 sets. Double time. Releve is here. Push, push, three, four, five, six. Give me a graceful neck like you have diamonds and pearls going down the neck. Three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Holding here. Now we're going to take the arms down. We're going to take the porta bras with the heels together. Going down, two, three, four. Bring it up, six to the side. Going out to the side, lengthen overhead. Excellent. If you can do your other arm, do your other arm. And let's take a porta bra down. Two. Now this is the overhead. We're going to take our fingertips, lifting up through the lat and squeeze back. Core engaged. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. Left arm going down. Two. Big stretch in the thighs. Seven, eight, out, three, over, and come around. And eight, down, and lift porta bra up overhead, squeezing the lat nice and settled. Pulling the lower shoulder. Five, six, seven. Good. Switching arms. Now we're going to take a releve single foot again. Right. And left, right, and left, five. You remember those. Now we're going to take it second. And lift, 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 lift. Four and three and two and one. Now releve up, down. Now we're going to be in a real deep plie here. Good. Let's go again. Singles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Give me a deep plie. Push up. This is going to get deep in the quads, releve, plie down, excellent. Now we're going up and releve, hold. Take a deep breath, five, six, going 16 sets here. Burn it out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and pulling in, lifting up, tall, beautiful spine, four, three, two, and hold, and plie, let's repeat. Releve, lift, nice top quads, lift up, six, seven, eight, one more set, two, three, four, strong legs, beautiful, seven, and eight, whole releve, and 16. This is a full body excursion, so you're going to have to use every little piece of muscle here from your finger fingertail to your toenails. Hold and release. Put a bra. Another arm. And press down. Switch the arm. Pushing. Lifting up. Hold in that port bra. Long stretch. Tondus. Tondus are really fun and important part of the ballet as it is a really cute way of talking as ballet is kind of a language. So we're going to take a <coughs> devant on tear. All right, so we're going to take it grounded. Lift it, pull in. Lift it, pull in. This is devant right in front. Out, in, out, in. 
out and good. Now let's take it fast. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Really pull in, inner thighs are burning. Clinch your tushy. Four, five, six, and seven. Good. On to your side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Keep the nice shape of your arms. Double time. Standing legs, six, seven, eight, derriere, straight back. Drag the heel to heel. Never disposition your shoulders from under your hips. Six, seven, accent. Two, three, five, six, seven, full point try. If not, you can slow down. And four, five, six, seven, and eight, plie. Repeat on the left side, switch sides or around your chair wherever that you are. Let's base our supporting side. Let's go dip on. So Tondu is really about leading with your arch. Good, let's kick up the tempo. Two, three, four, five. Brush and point, brush and point, pull it under. Two, three, four, and five. Good, thighs are burning, go out onto here. Double time. One, two. Now I'm really trying to find the deepest burn in my shoulders as I'm pressing down. I'm lifting up in my lats. Yes. Okay, let's take back. Two. Two. She's nice tight. Derriere is to the back. Family terminology. And pull it in. Push. Two. Three, four. Graceful bodies. Keep a smile on your face. A nice easy breath. And six and seven. Beautiful. Let's plie and length. All right. So let's grab a two pounder and we're going to take some arm work and waist work. Let's make sure you're in no equipment in the way. Now going in back to the second position, we're going to go deep plie this time. Pull, stretch fingertips right in front of you. And four, three, and two. Excellent. Now take a releve in first. Two, three, four, five, six. Little quickies here. This is going to be a cardio booster. So really hold your space, own the space. Back to grunt plie. Going down, lift, down, and lift, down, lift. Good. One more. Four, three. Good push through, everyone. Nice job. Releves, tight knees. You're very proud of the body you're in. Four and three and two and rest. Hold. Take it up to first, second, and port de bras. First, second, down. First, second, down. First, second, down. Beautiful stretch up. Bring the feet in. Five, six, bronze. Here, heels down. body muscle you have. Four, three, two more powerful motions here. And last one. Beautiful. Squeeze up. Now I'd like to take first to second, first, up to fourth, back down, first to second, back to first. We're going to take the arm up overhead, squeeze up and down, first, second, So we did first, second, port de bra back down right by our hip flexor. This time we're doing upper body work, accentuating beautiful shoulder lines, good cut deltoid. Four and three, two and one, and pull down, out to the side, back to first, port de bra, 
out to the side and back to first. Still elbows are bent and I'm leaning towards the power of my shoulder, deltoid, and lats. So these are your lats here. And you wanna gaze that close, pulling down. And take a roll through. And shake it out. Other side. Yay. All right, so let's do some dual arm leg work. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take it in, out, and all you're gonna do is go up, back down, in, out, lift up, back down, in, out, lift up, down. My supporting knee is bent, and I wanna charge my lifted leg into a straight, tight position. And let's switch other side. Bent knee, lengthen back. As you come in, you're gonna go <laughs> out and pull in, stretch out. And see here, it's a balance tester, so I'm even being worked. So if you feel the need, you don't have to lift the arm. You could be here, lift the back leg. Really simple work. Good, let's try it again on the other side. And take a breath and lift, pull in, lift, pull in, lift. Try to get the leg a little higher here as we push. We're working back and booty. Pull. My core is engaged. Three. Come on, everyone. Body will never age when you learn ballet. Other side. Lift, pull in, lift, pull in. Very round arms like I'm lifting a baby, up and down, lift, like saying wee, <laughs> give me two more, two, power that tushy, one, and down, roll through the back, port a bra, and open, and shut, excellent, let's do some more work with our bar, take those two pounders down, and we're going to go into some figure eights. Figure eights are good for the hips as it's going to help the rotation. And all you're gonna do is comb like you're playing a cello with your foot against the shin. And we're gonna lift and on air. So I wanna take a thing, lift up, just a faint little swirl there. And down, down, up, and down, clamping my core. Four. And three, and two, and one. Excellent. So back to tendus. You're going to take it to the ground, on tear, on air, 45, 90 degree, on tear, on lifted, 90 degree, on tear, 45. Crunch the core as you lift, and push, and down, and out to the side this time, and push, and lift. Pull up, stretch down, and push, and lift. Little buoyancy here again, it's a little spring kind of action. Crunch, lift, and pull in. Up, here we go, other side, back. Time to on air, up. So you don't want to feel it in your back, but in your buttocks. Time to lift up, and push, and time to lift up, and push. Good, now figure eight other way. Setting up, good, nice stretch in the arm. Plie, supporting knee, straighten as you elongate the working leg. High beams in your hips are centered. Push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. One more eight count, pull down, lift up, strong stability. That's what we're bracing for here. Four, three, and two. Those three tendus here. Set yourself straight. Supporting leg. Pull up and up. And point. Pull up. Push in as you lift. Tendu. Contract. Lift up. And tendu. Brush up to the side. Here we go. Now remember 45, 90. If you can't go 90, that's fine. Keep it low. Using your chair or your bar. Whatever you have. Let's take it to the back. 
toe, 45, 90, and 45. Both knees are straight the whole way. Beautiful, everyone. And relax. Let's take a down stretch. Now let's go to waist. The waist is one of those things we have to work as this is our carriage. This is something that tends to really get loose as we get older. I like to say wise in age. <laughs> so with your supporting arm, your left arm, right arm is straight. And I want to take a cross and a little hinge with the cross. Crunch, crunch. Now I really want to pull my whole belly in as I take that little helicopter swing with my shoulder. And lift, other side, crunch in, pull up. You really want that focus right in your center. Target, bullseye, push, six, seven, and eight. Now this time, I want both arms up. You crunch in, center that center piece. Four, and three, and two, and other side, crunch. Left hinge, lift the heel, crunch. Never saw a sagging. And three, and two, and one. Now arms down, twist. Two, three, four, five, six. So the fingertips are low, but I'm really helping my arms to stay in that flexion. So all of my triceps everywhere is getting sculpted. One more, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now I'm gonna add a little jump. I'm gonna bend and I'm gonna lift up and push. So I'm just gonna graze the floor and lift up and push, straighten. Lengthen, bend, straighten. Lengthen, bend, straighten. Lengthen, bend, straighten. Try not to let your knees crack. Push and push, little power boost. Six and seven, good. Back to second. Twist and twist, twist, twist. Ballerinas are always strong enough to lift up out of any position that they're in. They can have their leg overhead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, give me eight. Nice strong twist there. Four. Back to first position. And really jump in. Really. Good, now if you really want to take it up a little bit, pull up in those knees, get a little height there. Come on, Jordan it out. Take it, four, amazing, three, and two, and one, excellent. Shake the legs out. Now we're gonna take another waist work, and we're gonna change the dimension just a tad, but I wanna take a arm, pull into the side, pull into the side, pull into the side, pull, and holding here, two, three, four, five, six, holding seven, best way. Pulling. So I'm using that sort of hinge position that we were in. I'm keeping my core engaged. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold that side. Going out, in, out, in. Arms and waist. Hold here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Holding here. Going out, in, out. Really cluster all those muscles together. Two, three, four, five. Six. Now holding here, I want to take a second position jump. Same thing we did. Up in, up in, stretch. Up in, up in. You'll feel really dynamite once you get those muscles to really react. We're working agility, absorption. So really cave in the core, jump in that booty. Four, three, repeat. Twist, out, in. This is when the body starts to get a little wet. And four, Three, two, excellent. Let's take the twist trunk. Two, three. Let's boost those endorphins. Four, three. Set it. Let it go. Dropping the shoulders, increasing your flexibility through the joints. Twist trunk. Go. Come on, guys. I know you're feeling the burn, but it's going to learn. The body's going to love it. Back to relevé. Jump in. Jump in. Come on, get some air. Now to supply your body with a little more energy, allow your skin to feel the air as you jump. Let it 
cool you off. And three, and two, and one. Wonderful, take those arms down, and relax. Core engages the body, slightly soft knees. Let's do it again, down. Slight bend in the knees, pull the core in, round the shoulders twice. And other side. Wonderful, let's strike the weights. Now we're gonna go into some motion. So we have a pas de chat, we have a jeté, we have a pas de beret, and we got an attitude leg lift swing a little later, and we did this on the floor. Really good for you. So, pas de chat is a passe, passe down. So here, let's try it. One foot comes up, passe, passe, down. So let's go other side, down. And you're gonna land in fifth here. Passe, passe, down. Passe, passe, down. Wonderful. Really draw it up using your core, your belly's fastened, five and six. Now it's jete, 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 jete. So we're just gonna do this very slow. I'm gonna brush and land the body weight. Coupe in the back. And four, and three, and two. Now, pa, <clears throat> excuse me. Pas de beret is very easy. As you go, you're gonna take a step, you're gonna cross back in a fifth, bend and extend. Step out, cross back, out, front, down, and up. Cross out, back, out, front, down. So it looks like this, plie, good absorption through the body, push and stretch. Down, the front leg goes in a bent position as you sit in it, lift up with that back leg. Good, attitude leg lift. From here, a lift, a lift. Keep it low this time. But I want you to feel the core engage to lift. Two, three, if you have to tap down, please do so. That's fine. Seven, other side. And lift. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, that coffee cup balancing in your inner knee. Three, standing leg is straight. Four, three, two, relax. All right, so now the pas de jaw in the jeté in the pas de beret. So, let's review. You have the pas de jaw. Lift, lift, down, and then you have a jeté. Then we're going to take the pas de beret, pas de beret. Up, jeté, pas de beret. Pas de jaw, then jeté, pas de beret, and pas de jaw, jeté, pas de beret. Right, let's go a little bigger. Go ahead with that attitude leg lift. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Really increase your intensity through the muscles so you want less momentum. Four and three, blend it and up. Other side, two, get your balance like me. You can only be an example if you're leading by example. Four, three, and two, rest. Let's round those arms. side. Take a porta bra. Coming first. Out and down. Taking the arms overhead and an overhead. Porta bra. Open and shut. Yay! So now let's do tendus en croix. This is going to be a little faster. We know what tendus are. En croix is to go simultaneously front side back front, side, and back. This time, 45. Lift. A little power surge. Good. Now a little higher, slower. Control. Good. Back to the top. On the ground, four. That's on tear. Now on an air, 45. Lift. Lift and lift. 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 Slower version, 90 degree crunch. Lift. Up in that leg, pulling up. Four, three, two, and another way. 
Shake those arms out. I know you're burning. This is the golden time of our life. And take it up. That's the simultaneous. Up, 45. Lift. Side, 45. Lift. Up, 45. Lift. Up, 45. And lift. Good. Let's go singles. Up. Go again. And tondu, tondu, lift crunch. And if you need to, lower the arm. Tondu, lift 45. Up. And pull. Let's go high. Up and down. Up. 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 Four. Twice more through. Nice, strong, supporting leg. I'm burning. I'm getting a great fatigue through my standing leg. Just finish through strong. Four, three, two, one. Plie. Quarter bra. Arms out. Quarter bra. Arms up. Breathe. Lift. Good. Now, on a shaka, this is going to be an interesting format as we're going to go into fifth. As we go into air, we switch legs. Now, Shanji Ma is just a one switch. One switch. One switch, and one switch, straight, one switch. And as you can see, I put down my knees into a bend position to spring up, spring up, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Whew. And that's sort of the thing you want to increase your, your breath awareness. So, breathing through my nose, exhaling through my mouth, and then whew, do a big woo every four times. Good, give me on shika. So this is what you're gonna do. Switch the feet. If you can't, it's okay. Just give me a big lift through the air and hold it. Good, this would be the modification for your on shika. And lift and lower. A little higher and lower. Now, on shikas, let's try it. Switch in, left foot front. Switch in, switch in, switch in. Good, I'm bracing my shoulders here. And two, and one. Beautiful. Let's take your right foot forward, and with that, change ma, change ma, change ma, and on shaka. Here we go. And push, and push, and push. So it's almost like your right leg has to lead for the on shaka. This is your change ma. Push, push. You feeling like you're on air? Four and three, two, on a shaka and go push, go push. Just a light landing. This is that modification. Push, push. Four more. Four and three and two and one. Go back to first. Breathe in. Quarter bra. First and second. Let that heart rate come down just a tad. Up and over. Open. Excellent. Let's take the legs out. Now that we've worked a lot of jumping motion, I want to take a little lunge and a nice 45. Flat back forward. Four. Good. This time I want to take the arms out to the side. feeling nice and secluded here as I press my arm down. Come on, up, up, up. Now we're working chest, pecs, everything. Back to the lunge and lift, lift. Finish out that lunge right in the center. Stretch both knees, then you switch. Both arms. Nice, quick motion. 
really be nice and strong. Other side. Now let's pick it up and just bow the hands right in front. Four, three, two, back to here. Be very present in the motion. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now with the same motion, we're going to take a small tilt. The tilt is going to be on a bent knee supported. And you're gonna lift, press down into a bow. Lift, press down. Lift, press down. Lift, press down. Now the leg can go 45, but I want you to really tag into your obliques. Center it into your core, so it's not completely straight to the side. Here we go. Lift, down, lift, down. This is a really quick burst again. Now, if you can't go that high, just stay low and a bent knee, and I'll stay there with you. That's a very challenging motion. Four, and three, and two, and one. Beautiful, come center. Let's hold in a pulse. Now, let's try to control our breath. I know your body is in full sweat mode. Allow it to happen. Just take it all in. Be positive. Just notice it. Now I want to take a little tilt of the hips. We don't use hips a lot in ballet, but we will here with our hands on the hips. Let's go around. Full range. Other side. Just take this moment to thank your body. Start in a 45 degree angle flat back. You're gonna bend your left knee. And we're gonna take a part of our first open and down. Switch. First part of our down. Very important to keep the body moving as we take our heart rate down. Just calm the speed of your breath. We have two minutes more. Good, nice swan arm. Six, seven, eight. Now just hold here and switch. Now turn the toes out. Four, five. Again, tall, like those National Geographic ladies with the rings around their necks. I love that picture. It really set a memory in my head. Now bring those feet together. And as a little girl, I used to love the gallop. The gallop is awesome just to relax the feet. Stretching through the tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges. Good. The hips, we've worked a great deal today. You should be so proud of your body. I'm proud of you. And I hope you come back to Ballet Essentials again with me or with anyone else. Take a class, let's take a lunch. Another side. Beautiful. Let's take a first position quickly. Porta bra. Open. Second. This time, bring your arms in. Give yourself a great big hug. And we are finished. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time.